something we say in Igbo languages, only really go like now who then chop, they don't chop. If they don't use you, they don't use you. Like you know, if they have taken advantage of you, they have taken advantage of you, there's nothing you can do about it. And My name is Blessing and this is my Blessing on YouTube channel. I welcome everyone who is watching, who is coming for the first time. Please subscribe to this channel and you will not regret doing so. And I want to always say thank you to my viewers, to my subscribers. I really appreciate you coming back and watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much. In today's video, I just want to quickly talk about the scam that is first food sacrifice. You know that we are now in January and usually this is the month of January that they want to you know grab onto people's money take advantage of people take away what they have i want to encourage everyone who is listening to me please give reason a chance do not fall for their scam it's a scam uh, so i saw this video and i was really enraged at first and then i was really irritated the manner he was going about it and then i was really you know it was comical also at the same time like at some point i felt like man this guy just needs slap therapy there's something we also say in Igbo they say like you know who has been taking advantage of has been taking advantage of and i was thinking again that um betano betano it's like cut meat come cut meat come from where you want to they cut this meat come not from the same cow i be cut meat come cut meat come this is what these people are doing betano 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 give me nyem 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 they will never care about you they care they are so gluttonous they, they never have enough <laughs> the point is give 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 me first fruit make a uh, sacrifice give me first increase give me middle increase just give me give me give me bring it bring it bring it ah my people wise up oh. you can see how callous he is even picking his teeth you know that picking of his teeth is so irritating it's telling you like man i don't travel a fool now you can't know so if you like bring or make a city chop or make you know bring or now you know now you now you know how you they do you you know according to your level shall I bring make a day chop ah ah why are we like this like the people that even brought this christianity they are not even taking it to this extent like we are just our own worst enemies and they were trying to you know manipulate people and tell them um, is your faith is not enough for one thing or the other how about let them give for the first time for example first semester school fees Take it, it's first fruit. How about that? Eh? Must it be the people that will give and give and give? Eh? Okay, how about you say, this month, no offering, keep your increase. Let the, let the church even use their own. These people, no matter what they have in plan, you must bring money. They will never take from their own abundance. They always have projects, they always have things that God puts in their mind. You have to continue to bring and bring and bring. I know you have to say, uh, you are not the one bringing it now. Is it your money? Is it your bringing? But, you know, you are doing that with the faith that you are going to get increased. No, it's not going to get increased for you. It's increasing his own pocket. If you have money, invest it. If you have children that are going to school, go and pay their school fees. Pay your rent. If you have increase and surplus and you feel like giving, you can give. But don't give out of poverty. Don't give out of the hope that you are going to get something out of it. This is their manipulation. Don't give your basic resources to them because you are not going to have. You don't even have government that gives you welfare. You don't have anybody to go to. Are you going to be calling your uncle that is rich? You think he's rich? He doesn't have his own needs. You, are you going to be calling your mama's brother, your papa's brother, your, your sister? They also have their own problems. Why don't you use your own resources to solve your own problem? Eh? Eh, eh. Then if you have abundance and you feel like sharing, then it's okay. But you do not give from a point of lack hoping that that giving will increase because it's not necessary it's not like they were in their need of it and you gave it to them you know it's not like that like when somebody will, will say you know that like the story was told of um when elijah visited this woman and she didn't have any 
anything he you know she just gave him from the little she had and when it was uh, about to be finished she told him like look this is the last pot of oil i have and you know she gave somebody like that because you know he came to her and she had to feed him and there was a need for it there was a necessity at that point you know but these people you can see they don't chop belly food they are just <laughs> they pick their teeth <laughs> and give well, you know according to your dad be giving <laughs> you know that increase and that <laughs> you know, giving giving and charity organization and give be giving and be giving what about you who is going to be giving you who who will give you who will give your children? Who will give your parents that suffered and labored for you in need, in sacrifice, in poverty? Who will give your brothers, your elder brothers, your elder sisters that helped you through life? You know, if you are the elder one that has been seeing all your junior ones through, who will give you? Who? Who? Nobody. Use your resources well. You know, don't do overdo. Don't let them manipulate you to go and do more than yourself. Give out of abundance if you have. Do not give out of poverty hoping to gain. You know, because now they are market then they so they are selling their own market. You see, um, here where we are, when you have problem, you go to church, they have fund for helping people. You write application, what is your need? They are going to have a meeting, they look at it, they see how they can come in. They give you money. They don't even care that you are a they are, they are a church member or anything like that. They help you, and much more if you are your church member. If you have a problem, they, you talk to the church, they can contribute money. Maybe the offering, they will give it to you. These are the people that brought this religion to us. They have not done it to this extent. And out of the religion, they built emergency services, they built helping for the poor. But we have continuously exploited the poor. And you know, there's something they will say, is it this your one naira that you are bringing? Is it what they are going to hear? Is it this your ten naira you are bringing? Is it this your hundred? But let me tell you, it's poor people that give the most money. Because when you gather a million poor people and all of them give hundred, hundred naira individually it may look like nothing but when you bring accumulation of that hundred hundred naira paid by a hundred million people how much do you have and when you have one rich person and he comes into your church you know he's santa's in and they gave him all the uh, you know celebrity status and the front seat uh, uh, respect and everything how much will he give at the most he will give one million Hmm? he's going to give one million for maybe that day and he's not going to be coming every day he's not going to come for your seven days weekly services that you because of their greed they will do something on monday do something on tuesday do something on wednesday do so harbor these things are really basic logic if you apply logic you will just see through the scam eh so i was in a choir before I, w I was in a redeemed church and i was also in the choir so i was singing in the choir and at some point the pastor was like eh, you people have to give in the envelope especially the workers you know they needed to see what you are giving in the envelope and you needed to continue your name so something like like they wanted to make sure that every worker is paying time and i was like okay and like the pastor said something said it's for your own good it's for your own good you are the one that is going to go to heaven and all those kind of things and i was thinking about it i say okay wait a minute if it's for my own good so why are you policing me about it is it not for me to see to it that i do something that is going to be for my own good yeah so if you make services monday tuesday saturday sunday every day of the week and every day people have to come as workers in one capacity or the other and they are giving 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 hmm? who is going to be giving them back Eh? including all the free labor you are giving them or the, in, in volunteering in the church yeah they are not paying any services so people will sing from morning tonight they will sing through services you will not give them anything to compensate them and eh, people will go home empty hungry there's nothing for them and everything is give 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 you know at some point you just have to use your logic because what is this what is this madness Eh? So my people, if they chop you, they don't chop you. Only the really go here. So you better you wise up. If you carry your one month salary and give them, 
Now you can't know. You begin to be running up and down. Then you will see who doesn't want to help you, who is your enemy, and all those kind of things. And even if you want to regret, the money is gone. They are not even going to say sorry. They will say, is it this how much you brought? Is this how much you brought? So it's poor people that makes them rich because rich people cannot give them that kind of money on a constant, regular basis. But poor people can gather 10 times in the week and give that their 100 naira. So at the end of the day, if they have one, billion poor people gathering and contributing hundred naira at every garden you can just calculate it by yourself so this is how they are making money do not allow yourself to be scammed this is my own opinion about this i don't know what you think about it you can write it in the comment section let's continue this discussion please if you have your family members your friends your loved one warn them tell them educate them these people are scammers they are the scammers they are the real yahoo yahoo boys eh? and uh, they should go and be eating the one they have taken eh? enough is enough thank you so much please i hope that you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video take care of yourself bye bye don't let them scam you <laughs>